so when you are working with wigs, there are a couple things to consider. Um, the material that the hair is made out of, so that you could have human hair or various synthetic hair fibers. And then you can also have a hard front or a lace front. Now this one has a lace front, you can just barely see it on the edge here. Um, usually it's a fine lace that was added to the wig. And that's to help have it, uh, to give it a more realistic hairline. So this one has an added on, actually a piece that's been added on and then hair that's been added to the front of that. The other kind is a hard front, a hard front, uh, hard front wig. And usually on the inside, you know, you could see it here. There's this one used to be a hard front and then they added the lace on. So a hard front is one that just has a strong hairline. Um, it could have a widow's peak, but um, it doesn't have any lace that helps to transition it into the wig. And on here you could see maybe, you see that there's some added knots of hair from the lace into the rest of the wig. Okay, so when you're dealing with a lace front, you need to make sure that you add it to the block um, and block it on appropriately. So we're using this 23 head size uh, wig block and to block it on, it means that you need to protect the lace and make sure that it is pinned on evenly so that the tension is distributed throughout the wig. So I'm gonna start by grabbing the little ends that are the sideburn pieces that go around the ear and I wanna center this widow's peak, okay? And I also wanna make sure that the lace is all out and not folded up. Okay, so I can tell by pulling on both sides that it's centered. Then I'm gonna take a big wig pin, okay? And right at the top of the wig, I'm gonna put it through the wig block and that's gonna help hold it on. Okay, the next step is I'm going to need to get some twill tape or some kind of ribbon. And then we, we um, pin down the edge of the lace so that it's not being pulled once we start working on the wig. Okay, so I'm gonna take the twill tape and I'm gonna place it over the center of the lace and I want it to overlap the edge of the lace as well. And I'm gonna start by putting a pin right in the middle. Okay, and then once I do that, I'm going to work on one side and I'm going to just continue to lay, lay the lace, um, the tool tape over the lace. What I want to do is create a zigzag pattern with the pins and they're going to be spaced about every half an inch apart. Okay, and you're just going to continue and kind of curve it as you go. Once you get to the end, you're going to bring this forward. And then I'll go and do the other side. Okay, so then uh, you want to zigzag these so that the lace doesn't get pulled too tight, um, too, too strongly because that can make holes in the lace and we wanna try to avoid that. Okay, so then once this is pinned, we can pin the rest of the wig down to the block. So I'm gonna take the back of the wig um, structure back here. I'm gonna pull it down and I can now take the, um, I can take another large wig pin, okay? And I'm gonna place that on the end here take another one and do it on the other side in the back. So you pull it down the same amount as you did the other side. And then you may want to also pin down the sideburns, which will be helpful here on this wig in particular because they're kind of loose. Okay. 
And then I could also do one in the center back and that should help hold this down. Okay, so that's how you block a wig that is lace front. Um, for a wig that's hard front, you obviously don't need to add these, but you do want to add the big pins to hold the whole hairstyle in. Okay, so once you get the wig on the block, you want to very carefully brush out the knots. And I'm going to hold the base where the lace is in the front and brush the hair so it doesn't pull too much onto the lace. I'm also going to grab the ends of the hair and brush them. You don't want to just brush and pull the hair. You want to make sure the knots aren't um, kind of ripping out the hair as you brush it. So you hold the base of the wig and then just work all the way through until you get the knots out. Okay, so the wig I'm going to style is uh, for 1930s style and that's in chapter 8. There's an example of a 1930s style set. So I'm going to do the rollers going down the side of the face with a part and then I'll do a brick set in the back with pin curls in the bottom. <laughs> 